Uh, I don't. It's supposed to be starting. All right, everybody. So check this out. We got my boy Green. MF and Kelly. USC great. Long Beach Poly alumni. Uh, I told you guys I was going to bring him back. We had technical difficulties with the last joint. And I apologize for that. And, 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 and it bothers me immensely. But we're going to rectify that today with this post. Post what? Give it to me, Kareem. Post what? This is a... What you mean? Far as far as like the game just stopped. That was a great game. Post, oh, the post, post interview. The, How about that? The post, post game. Post what you call it? Yeah. The, the, the post game commentary, post game, you know, analysis. Yeah. You know. Right. That number four that number fourteen, that Omarion kid, his stocks has risen. He's a dog. Oh, by far. That, that hold on one catch, one catch that comes to my mind. That toe tap. Check yes. this out, bro. When you talk, when you take your two, you play receiver at a high level. This dude ran a perfect route, it, but it was a timing route, and he touched it. He touched the sideline with both of his toes before the ball even got there, and he caught it and laid down. That's called field, that's called that's called field awareness. That's what that's what Bruh. the goods and the greats have. That's what the the goods and the great receivers have. They he have said, that they have that that wherewithal to know where they at on the field at all times. Bruh, that, that right big. there was was beautiful. Turn your volume up. Your volume up. Yeah, it's up. Can you hear me? All right, yep. let's go. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, that that right there, that being a football savant, I, I appreciated that, bro. The play, that, the play that stood out the most to me was the one hand catch that he had that he secured with both arms when he was going to the ground. The one in, was, in, in the end zone, in the end zone, going towards, oh, the oh, the going, other one. going into the end zone. Yeah. It was like a 40, 40 yard, 44 yard pass. Yeah. And it was and it was PI. Yeah. And he got a PI call on top of that. So that's big time, man. Like that, that's that's somebody you definitely gonna have to keep an eye on throughout the rest of this season and the seasons to come. Cause mind you, he's he's only a freshman. He's only a freshman. And but he's Deion, nine years ahead though, bro. He and they he's only whip, he's, and, and, he's, Go ahead. No, I'll go ahead. He's the different breed. Yeah, and and what's so unique about the situation is that Dion threw a lot of his young guys in the game when the score was getting out of hand. He wanted Komani, to Komani, Komani, Komani McLean ball too. He balled out today. I didn't even know that he was a five star corner coming out of uh coming out of high school. But peep game though, it, he's all right. So. Dion old school. This young cat, you know, this 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 is an NBA young boy type cat. You know what I'm saying? A little rebellious, feeling himself. And there's a there's a struggle, you know. And Dion is trying to Dion is trying to break him, but he's not trying to run him off, right? And I think that he put him in the game so he wouldn't run him off, right? Because he was straddling the fence on leaving because Dion has, has made it publicly known that the kid's been missing meetings, right? He's not coming to voluntary workouts or whatever. He's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. He he hasn't bought in. So, right. but Dion know he's a dog, but Dion don't want to run him off. Dion love the kid. He love all the kids. But at the same time, when you're dealing with a kid that doesn't have self-discipline, you discipline him ain't going to help. So you got to learn how to finesse him and learn how to bring him in. And by Dion playing him today, I think he won him over. Even though you guys won today, Colorado won. Colorado's the winner in this game. Hey, bro, yeah. we don't do moral victories. No, no, no. I don't no, care no, about no, what you're no, saying. No, that, 
That's not that's look, we at a level of competition now where we don't do moral victories. We say that shit for Pop Warner. It wasn't no victory for Colorado. Yeah, they may have flipped the switch. They may have uh they may have seen light at the end of the tunnel. A light may have went off and sent in a in a sense of okay, now we see what we have. We see what we can put together once we execute and play, you know, mistake-free football. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and say, oh, Colorado really won the game because the score was 48-41. No, 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 no. You, you, it's, it's over your head. It's over your head. That's not what it's I'm saying. It's never this over my saying. head. There's no moral victories. No, it's not. I'm not talking from a moral aspect. So what aspect did they win? Because last time I checked, the team who has the most points is the team who won. You guys won the game. But let me explain something to you. Please. All right. Um, let me see if it was, it was a good analogy. Come on, man. We got viewers. I mean, no, 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 no. We got viewers. I know we got viewers, but check this out. They were one and eleven last year. Correct. They're three and two. They're three and two after after the, today. Right? Check this out. Check this out. It's they're nothing game more, above no. five. They are a game above five hundred. Okay. Okay, okay. Where well, they put together bad news bears team. And you guys beat them by a touchdown. Wait, let me stop you right there. This okay. is not a put together okay. bad news Talk bears. to me. Talk Dude, to how me. Is this a, how is this a put together bad news bears team when they got 76 new players from different schools? This ain't the same team from last year. This is no. a whole new team. So we but can't no go chemistry. with the bad news bears. There's no chemistry. The bad news bears if they not if they haven't even played together, bro. This ain't the same team that was the bad news bears last year. These are all different players, bro. But they don't have no chemistry. They've never played together. You but, hold on, hold on. Hold on okay, hold on. say that. Say that. Don't call them the bad news bears. The bad news bears was a team that was already assembled that was just sorry. All right, let me retract then. They're not the Please. bad news bears. Okay, hold on. They're not the bad news bears. Now I retract. But here's the thing, though. No chemistry. Dude, you played in the league. You know the locker room atmosphere is everything. You got to get to know guys, egos, personalities, people meshing. All of those things come into play. Bro, uh, I'm gonna tell you something. wait, wait, wait. I got to correct you because, you, like like I said, we got viewers, so you can't misinform them. We got we to gotta, we gotta keep the context, you know, to where people understand. There's a difference between college locker rooms and NFL locker rooms. Proceed. Well, break that down then in, in due tell. Well, I mean, it's real simple. You got in a college, in a college locker room, you got you got guys who obviously are from different walks of life. You got guys who are there to just go to school and get an education. They just using football as a vehicle to get to where they need to get to. Then you got guys who are there to go to the league, who's trying to feed their families. And you also got guys who just wanna wanna represent the university. Now, the difference between an NFL locker room, you got a locker room full of guys who's trying to feed their families, who's trying to put their kids through college, who got mortgages to pay on, on mansions. Big difference, bruh. Big difference. So, so, a, so. A, a college locker room is easier to manage as far as personalities are concerned than an NFL locker room because NFL players. Some of them make more than the actual coaches who's trying to get them to be on the same page and who's trying to create that conglomerate unit. So let me give you, let me, let me point something out, though. The locker room ain't the same from when you and I were in the locker room now. You know why? Because they got NIL money now. So so they they chasing the bag now. They, they got what? They get in the bag now. They get in the bag now. So I think the similarities are more closer than what you and I probably want to believe. Think about it. Uh, Shador is driving a, <laughs> a Maybach SUV. Um, I seen Shiloh on the sideline today with more ice, you know what I'm saying, than my freezer. You know what I'm saying? So 
the dynamics have changed. But I get what you're saying. Um, so, you know, I'll agree to disagree. Um, I'm going to tell you somebody who I like for Colorado, though, for, far as a, a pure athlete. That 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 Jimmy Horn. You Have you watched his form, even, even how he runs back to the huddle? He is a track guy. He is an athlete. He's a pure. They don't. I would. I would move Jimmy at the slot, bro, and put him on the other side. But now since Omarion, number 14, has arisen, that probably wouldn't, wouldn't happen. But if, when they go four wide, I wouldn't put Jimmy in the slot. Jimmy need to be on the outside. Uh, I mean. I, I would put Jimmy on the outside because Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy is not productive as he could be. I think, I think being in the slot, he's not getting – you would think they would say a, a slot is supposed to be an open space, but he's not getting an open space for some reason. It's like a safety's coming down like he's being doubled. I don't know. But I would like to see him on the house. I would like, really like to see him open space, open space. Well, that's going to be a daunting task for him now, being that uh, Omarion Miller has emerged. Because you got to He's a dog. He's a dog. Like, today was his coming out party. You get what I'm saying? It was his coming and out party. So now they know what they got. So moving forward... Even when Travis get back, it's it's gonna look it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be ugly because now you gotta line him up on the outside. You gotta He's line nasty. him and Travis up on the outside. <laughs> Jimmy Horn, ha- Jimmy Horn, and Weaver has to play the slots. So you but think they're gonna put- interchangeable? That's the thing about receiver, bro. The the as dynamic as offenses are now, like every every, every player is interchangeable. You can move players around to, to create mismatches. So no one guy has to line up in no particular position or no particular side of the field. They're interchangeable. They're going to be moving around, create mismatches. That's how you make and create a dynamic offense is having receivers who can – outside receivers who can play the slot. The slot can move to the outside. Uh, a receiver can play the H-back, like – that's how you create a dynamic offense. I'm gonna tell you what slow. I'm gonna tell you the mistake that I saw with Colorado today from the beginning. And that number nine, that running back, that number nine, he shouldn't have started. I don't know why. Uh, 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 uh number three didn't start. What's what's the kid name? Um, Edwards. Weaver, Edwards. Ed- I don't know why Edwards didn't start. Number nine shouldn't have started. They should have came up with Edwards because they were running a high pace, a fast pace. I think nine was too slow for for their pace. I see, think nine was too. Is, he didn't compliment. He didn't compliment the game plan at all. See, you're you're looking at it from a novice standpoint too, Tone. Like, and why I say that is because we don't know what happened do, throughout the week that that allowed. Number nine to start, and why? I Edwards get it. I get start. it. I get we don't it. know what it. happened in practice. We don't know who didn't go to class. We don't know nothing. All we know is that we see some guys come out starting, and we think like, "Oh, this was just purely uh, an athletic coach decision." No, it could have been other factors that caused. You, you, you. Here's the thing. You're absolutely right, and for all you kids out there that's listening. You, your decision making can cost you your t- your team's W's or L's. Am I right? That if that because I, I I get it, <laughs> I get it. I asked my son about certain kids on his team, and he like, oh, he's suspended. He 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 he, he can't practice. He can't he can't participate. Yeah, I, I get you know what it. I'm yeah, so I, we dig don't it. Know. I dig it. We don't know why Edwards didn't start. Some happened throughout the week. He played, but he didn't start. But man, you can't mess it. It's, this is one of the biggest games of your career. Like, like Deion said it, and and, and, and that old Marion kid, number 14, Deion said, this game right here can make or break you. This game right here can 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 take care of your family and your, for generations to come. And that one kid, 14, he showed me a lot today. I, I'm a fan. I'm and, a fan, and, but he and, got a long way to go. But But he showed me from a mechanical standpoint that he has it. He definitely yes, has. He can play Division One college football. Yes, absolutely on a big stage. Absolutely. Yes. 
Yes, well, 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 all the lights on. He was given that opportunity today. And he sees this, he sees this opportunity. And now he's not going to relinquish that opportunity. Now he can only get better and improve and use this moment as a stepping stone. You sent me some, you sent, well, you sent me a lot of footage of you today. And for the viewers, I, I haven't really fully figured out how to implement it yet. But once I do, I will be doing that for future uh, interviews that you sent me. But I'm going to do some different things with it. I'm going to edit it and then I'm going to implement it. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, you, you you were you were more you were a dog, dog. I slept on you, bro. Like I knew you was good. I mean, to, to be at USC and to go to the pros, I knew you was a dog. But like I said, man, you from the last interview, they didn't get to see the full interview because I lost that second footage where, where we were talking about it. Dude, right. I'm giving you roses, dog. You 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 were legit, bro. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad when I was in LA that I didn't really have a um curriculum vate on you because it made our, our 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 friendship and camaraderie more authentic you know what i'm saying yeah but after you sending me that stuff today it was like and i looked at it like damn that nigga was getting off and that's just a little bit of the stuff that ain't all that ain't my career that's just a few highlights here and there i i, I i'm already knowing man yeah. my boy uh, uh 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 one of my partners he, he he's from what we call Bailey's Crossroads, and I'm from uh, Falls Church, Virginia. He's from Bailey Bailey's Crossroads. Charlie Garner, he played at Tennessee. He played, he got drafted by the Eagles. Played with the Raiders. Oh, you know, I'm familiar. A, oh, yeah, I'm, huh? I'm familiar. Um, Raiders. Raiders. He he. Uh, you know, I, I reached out to him too, so I'm hoping that he, that, that he uh, he responds. Cause I want to do one on him as well, but you know, when you know people on a personal level, the point I'm making is when you know people on a personal level, level, and and you deal with them not because they're celebrities or outstanding athletes, and you get to know a person for who they are, you know what I'm saying? To see them shine is even more valuable. You know what I'm saying? Like what you sent me today was like, damn, bro. Like I've been kicking it with you all these years, bro. I didn't. I didn't know you was getting it in like that, right? I remember that one time you took me to uh, SC. You took me to SC. Yeah, I was, you remember that. I remember yeah. that, But I'm going to tell you the one thing that stood out to me about SC. We, I'm going to tell you. So you took me all over campus. And uh, I was I – was, I was, one thing you might not have even – I've never even shared it with you, but the George Lucas uh, Fine Arts yep. School – Film, film school. school, George Lucas yeah. Film School, yeah. Yes, that right there blew my mind because I'm a fine arts guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then when you took me on the on the practice field for the football team and how it was barricaded, yeah, where no one could see it, it had green yeah. barricade. I, yeah. I was think, I was thinking that I was I was saying to myself today, Coach Prime needs to have that concept. He needs to throw all the cameras out. They, if they if they were focused and get down like you guys got down, because what that showed me when I got in there, when you took me into that 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 barricade or the practice yeah. field, it let me know this was sacred. Oh yeah, that shit. I mean, sometimes our coaches would allow the public to come in and watch practices, but we had a lot of private closed practices, like where it would just be only faculty, players, and personnel. What happens here stays here. Exactly. Exactly. Everything ain't meant for the public, man. Bingo. It got to be more. It got to be intimate. That's yeah. how you build chemistry. That's how you build chemistry. That's how you build championship squads, too, man. That's how you build championship let, squads. So let me ask you this. What separated your, your team, your era, from the era that came behind you that surpassed all of you guys' accolades? Well, the, the offense is a more high power, man. You know, the, the athlete is a lot more dynamic. The offenses are tailored to these new athletes, and they're just taking it and running with it, man. They're, they're you know, the evolution of man, bigger, faster, stronger. You know, the athlete just evolved. 
And then the, the athlete's going to continue to evolve. You know, and you didn't have, the, and you didn't have Reggie Bush. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I mean, he came. He came the, the next year. I was gone, so he's still he part of dog, that. Dog. He's still part of that era. You get what I'm saying? But he was he was a unique individual. But now we got Zachary Branch. He's a dog. I want. Why didn't he play today? I don't know if he's hurt. I don't know what it is, man. But like I said, we don't really be knowing as a spectator yeah, yeah, yeah. and media on the outside looking in exactly what it is that's going on with these players unless, you know, some 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 news come out and it pops up on the ticker on ESPN, Fox Sports or something, but I don't know. So let me ask you this. Do you still have access to go to games? Uh, I'm sure I can create that access if I go show face, touch bases, and have some conversations. Yeah. That's all that matters, man. Do you, do you ever desire to want to go? To a game? Yeah. Yeah, at some point, I want to um, get back to going to games. Because, you know, for a while, you know, after those sanctions and after that, uh, those NCAA, you know, sanctions, they prohibited a lot of players – from being on the field, you know? So that was the thing that they kind of like got rid of, but I, I see that it, it has slowly started to come back. So we'll see if um one of these games, one of these years, I can make it up there and get on the field. I'm sure I can get tickets as far as being in the, in the stands. You don't want, you don't want that though. You, you, you deserve to be on the sideline. That'd, that, that'd be, that would be treasonous to your career as much as you, uh, you've contributed, man. Yeah, your ego wouldn't allow you to do that, bro. No, I wouldn't. And that's funny you say that because I talk to my peoples about that all the time. They're like, uh, they ask me, like, why you don't go to the games? I'm like, if I can't be on the field, I don't want to go. They like, oh, you think you too you too big? Like, nah, it ain't about that. It's, it's, it's exactly what you just said, like. I felt what I've contributed to the program, I should be allowed a lifetime pass onto the field. I mean, and I'm hold not on. Just a guy, and I'm not I'm not trying to pump myself up, but I'm not just a guy who played on the team. Like I my name's are gonna my name is gonna be in the record books through history. You get what I'm saying? Like you can go to the campus right now and go on the go in our facilities and go into the receivers room and they got all like the receivers' records for yards, catches, uh, touchdowns, et cetera, et cetera. I'm on them lists. You walk right, so, the so, receivers, so you walk in the receivers' room, you're going to see my name on a lot of those, you know. You and Johnny rooms. Morton was neck and neck the last time I had checked. That was years ago. Yeah, and I mean, I'm still in that. I'm still top five in categories as far as yards and catches. Juju, did Juju uh, 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 knock you off anything? If he did, probably touchdowns. Okay. But, but no, nah, you was a you was but a dog. Catches, but as far as yards and catches, I so had but 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 I feel I, I feel you got slighted. I feel I, I feel I feel as though you got slighted off of favoritism with Mike Williams when he came. I that's feel, the I game. Feel, that that's no, no, the game. I, no 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 that's the game. But I feel like you I feel it had that not happened. I feel your resume would have been even, even, even more, or more, more, more bigger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, hindsight is always 2020. 20. I don't. I'm at a stage in my life now. I don't like to really play victim or, or or point fingers or play the blame game. I just take shit in stride and uh, try to make the maximum out of the minimum. You know what I'm saying? I, I had a great four years at SC. I did great things. Met a lot of great people, achieved a lot, learned a lot, accomplished a lot. So that in itself is is a feat for me. You know, I wasn't supposed to make it to USC, according well, to. Well, here, here, here's the thing: I want to tell you and give you your roses. Me personally, knowing you from then to now, back when you had what you had a go, you had a go. What, what, what was it? You had some twenty foes on it. Oh, I had, the, uh, I had the ESV 
uh, Escalade when they first came out, the long one. When, all right, so me knowing you from back then to now, I I, I am proud of you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But you yeah, gotta I mean, grow. I mean, I mean, it has nothing to do with material materialism or or or, or, or accurate. Is is the is the internal growth that's that's now being displayed, right? right. Your maturity, the man you've become. Uh so so I commend you for that. Um, you've all you've always been kind of. You've always been humble but arrogant, but you're less arrogant and more humble. You're more you're more grounded. You know what I'm saying? You're mature. You're a man now. So I can honestly say, but man, this my nigga. This nigga's a man now. You know, <laughs> you, 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 and for all my viewers out there, he's a father, he's a husband, he's a family man, he works hard, he's a homeowner, he's a business owner. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I, I know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I, and I'm proud of that because uh, you are the company you keep. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You you're, you are the company you keep. Yeah. You know you, you know you want you want you you, you want to hang around trash. Don't complain about the flies. Yeah. You feel me? Yep. Yeah. So I I respect you, man, and we both come a long way. We've seen each other on different levels. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so, and, and, and in order to know where you're going, you got to know where you come from. Yep. I agree. Somebody, and I, I'm going to tell you something. I got a homeboy, Harley. It's crazy. I cut this, you know, me and Kareem know each other originally when me, I, I started cutting his hair. And uh, I was cutting one hair. Of the, hey, let me tell him, hold on. Look. One of the best barbers on the west side of LA by far. Where, where was I? You was everywhere. You was on Crenshaw. You know, you you was uh, in Inglewood. I met you in Inglewood. Over yeah, there with you. Over there I with the new I, 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 That sixties bar, rolling sixties. The whole the yeah, but you know, you know, you know, that's where the Chargers Stadium is at now. It's right across the street from this. From the Hollywood Park Casino. And hey, look, that's peep game though. Rest in peace, AJ Johnson. You remember Ezel from Friday? Man, I know Ezel. Man, I knew AJ, I knew Ezel personally. Ezel, I used to cut Ezel hair, and I was green. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I was an L seven. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's like, "Hey, because because his wife used to get her hair done in the corner of the shop, yeah, in, 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 in the shopping center, yeah." The homegirl Angie used to do her his wife hair, and Angie hit me up and she's like, "Tone, uh, my client husband need a haircut." I thought we sent him on. He came over. It was him. So when he walked in the shop, everybody was looking like, who are you here for? Like, nigga, this is L. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's like, who, he's like, which, who told? Everybody pointed to me. I cut him, I chopped him up with a woo-woo-woo. So, so he started coming to me on the regular. Yeah, you was that good, man. I'm trying to tell you. And the hey, 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 but, but nigga, hey, hey, man, you know what? I appreciate that, man. And, and, and he came to me one day for a cut. He like, Tom, I need a cut. I need a cut on, on credit. I said, I got you. I got you, homie. He said, hey, step outside and holler at you. I'm like, what's happening? He's like, hey, man, I need, to, I need to borrow some money. I said, well, for what? He's like, man, I need, I need like 200. You know, I was holding back then. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I made 200 by 9 o'clock in the morning. Right. I gave the nigga 200. He's like, come with me. We went across the street to where the Chargers Stadium is at the Hollywood Park Casino. Yep. Go to the blackjack table. This nigga lose it all in like 15 minutes. You know what he tells me? Well, we lost. <laughs> ah, ah, hey, 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 he tell me we lost. But it, it, it hurt me. I, I saw on social media when he had passed and they had him on, uh, they, somebody had a, had, had, had a vlog or a podcast and they showed him in his casket and everything. And his daughter was on Facebook. I, I I seen his daughter on Facebook post something and I, I sent her a friend request and I chopped it up with her. I it slid in her DM one day and I chopped it up with her. She said, I knew your father. He was a good dude. Yeah. I missed that dude. He was a good dude. He took me to Compton. He was from Compton. I don't know what hood he was from. All I know is run a bunch of Crips in Compton. Yeah, he time. stayed next door to me. Uh uh me and my moms, we stayed in um we stayed in Hawthorne. 
And he used to stay right next door to me. I had seen him one day. And I was like, man, you that, because I was young. I was like, probably like 15. I was like, man, you that dude played in Friday, huh? He was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, you stay over here? He's like, yeah, I stay next door. I was like, oh, man, that's cool. So every time I seen him coming and going, man, we always speak to each other, man. Yeah, you know, I stayed over there and when I was messing with Kendra on 111th Street, right yeah. off of Normandy. You know, yeah, where, where it, it's, block, block neighborhood. Oh, right, block crib. Yeah, yeah. Hey, much love to yeah. the block. Yep. They, they gave me a pass. I don't bang, but them niggas, they always show love. The little homies over there, I I I miss it over there because them 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 little them little homies was some cool dudes, man. You yeah, know I saying? got family. I got my, some of my family is from over there. So well, my family right around the my some of my family right around the corner in UG. Right there. Shout out, on, on, shout right. out to the shout out to the block crip gangsters. Yeah, over there Washington High. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, some, some good times, man. Uh, yeah. We uh, we got some history, man. LA got a lot of history, man. Man, more than we can even imagine, bro. Like, I'm only 42, so I can give you about 30 years worth of LA history. But yeah, my, it's deep. My mom's went to Washington. My mom's went to school with rerun. That's what's up. You feel me? All my aunties and stuff, you know. And, and one thing I love about L.A., what people don't understand about L.A., people that's not from California or has never been to L.A. or California, uh, I could differentiate because I'm on the East Coast now, right? And I lived in L.A., right, for for about two decades, damn near. Um, L.A. is beautiful. Even in the hood, it's beautiful, right? Yeah. And, 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 and L.A.'s hood rats look better than a lot of these regular cities' dimes. But All once day. you once you live in LA, you will know who's the hood rats and who's the dimes. Even Easy. the dimes look good, but you will understand once you learn the pop. Like Pac said, you better learn about the dress code, B's and C's, or these other niggas copycats, D's and G's. And he made that pop. Rest, in, hey man, rest in peace, Pac man. But he, I was a young dude on the East Coast, man, listening to Tupac, and I, I was listening, but I had to go see for myself, bro, and I saw. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you uh, saw the show. You saw. Oh, I lived it. Lived it. Seen it. Saw it. I mean, you lived in one of the one of the roughest neighborhoods in 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 Southern California. When you stayed in the jungles over there. And then, you, it was the, before I met you. You know, I stayed in Compton too. I stayed in Fruit Town Paru. I stayed on uh, Rosecrans and Willowbrook. Right. Yeah, there, I know about right all that. Bro. Yeah. yeah I, I used to live in Landwood off of uh, Clark yeah, and the Landwood, Landwood in hood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it man. It goes down, right. but, but see where I'm at? Where I, see, me being here, they don't know. Kareem, they don't know. They don't, they, 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 don't, they, 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 don't, they don't know what I've seen and what, I'm, what I've done. But real, that's a, that's, a Cali, that's a Cali attribute as well. We don't talk. We don't, we don't tell. Besides, Telling somebody ain't gonna mean shit anyway, right? Nah, not really. Not really. But yeah, you would have had to been here to believe it. And during that time, all right. So the riots was what in the nineties, right? When was the LA riots? Ninety two. How was that? Crazy. So I was in elementary school, so. I come from a black militant family, so my mom and, and step pops went with that being out looting and shit. So when school was out, I had to go straight home. I wasn't out with my friends looting and doing all that shit. I had to go straight to the house. But everything was televised, so I got a chance to see firsthand what the shit was like. And then a couple times, uh, me and moms, you know, rode through LA to go visit family, and I, I. What's going on, K2? You didn't drop the car on me. I don't know, y'all. We done lost a homie. Well, we done lost him. He gave me some great content. And y'all make sure y'all subscribe. 
make sure y'all subscribe. And we're going to come back with another one. We're we going to run it back, man. This the homie. This the homie, man. Me and him got, we got history like dollar bills and white people. You understand? For sure.